my mind is drawing a blank. What is the actor's name? Tom H. Tom Holland. Tom Hiddleston. Tom. Oh, 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 oh. Tom Hardy. What is going on, Draw2 Crew? Randy here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys, and today we are revisiting the Venom movie to draw the main bad guy, Riot. On this channel, I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite characters, so if you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video as well. Because things have been so busy, I never really got a chance to review the Venom movie. I'm not sure if I'm going to, but I'll let you guys know what I feel about it anyway. I think it was an okay movie. It wasn't the best or anything. Uh, there's a lot of stuff about the plot that was a little bit nonsensical, didn't make sense, but I enjoyed it for what it was and I would probably get it on Blu-ray just because Venom is one of my favorite characters and I actually enjoyed, as much as I don't like it when the bad guy is like a mirror image of the good guy anymore, I actually quite enjoyed uh, the portrayal of Riot in this movie. So speaking of Riot, you guys asked and asked for a Riot tutorial this past month and I'm more than happy to oblige and I know many of you guys will be happy with this tutorial. So here he is, Riot from Venom. Before you start, make sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. Having said all of that, you guys, grab your drawing tools. Let's draw Riot. Let's get started with our Riot drawing. Now I've got my paper in landscape mode and we're gonna be drawing Riot pretty much just up to the uh, the waist area. And we're gonna draw him pretty small. That's mainly to fit him into my, my page here. This is a an A4 size paper or you could use eight and a half by 11 if you're in North America. Uh, and we're gonna be drawing him relatively small just so we can fit his long fingers in on this page. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is, is is I'm going to draw a small circle here, right here. So that's going to be for his face. And there are differences between Riot and Venom's face. And I'll show you that when we start zooming in and working on the details. But there you go, there's a small circle for his face. And I'm gonna draw a line going down here and here. And then I'm going to have him kind of looking over this way more. So I'm gonna draw that as my center line there. And then I'm going to draw his chin going from here, coming down to a point like this. So there's there's Riot's face, and it doesn't look like him right now. And don't worry about that because we'll work work on it a little bit later on. Okay, from his chin, I'm going to draw a line down, and that's going to be the center of his torso. Okay, about this far down, that's going to be like his pecs. That's going to be his. The lower part of his pec muscles or his chest muscles so i'm going to draw this line right here okay on this side and this side i'm going to draw the uh, trapezius muscles and those are like the big shoulder muscles that come out right here and they're not shoulder muscles really they're the back muscles that are uh here at the top so they're the upper back muscles and i'm going to draw them kind of think of it like a football you guys so what i'm going to do is kind of draw this football shape first I'm going to draw that curve there and then kind of right where your chin is I'm going to bring this like this and like this and it looks a little funny right now but bear with me that's just how that muscle is and he's going to be leaning forward so you see that muscle quite prominent okay so if I draw a line from here going down then we'll see where the shoulder is going to go and same thing here going down like this. Those are our guidelines. And we can kind of start drawing uh, shoulder muscles from that point. So the shoulder muscles are gonna be about the same size circle as this one. And I'm gonna start right here and go that way till we get to this part. Okay, just like that. And then same thing over here. So I want these I were to draw them like circles, they look like that. Those are gonna be the shoulders right there. Okay, and where this and this are, they're going to be 
they're going to be the, the, the chest or the armpit. I'm going to draw a line going down. And there you go. Okay, good. Now I made a little bit of a judgment error. I brought this line too far down. Now, if your chest looks like this, that's a little too far down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it a little bit higher up like this. So I readjusted this line right here. And I mean, that's, that's how drawing is. You guys, you don't put lines down and expect those lines to be exactly where you want them to. You make adjustments according to how your, your, uh, your drawing is taking shape, right? So there you go. So I've adjusted it. I've got my chest right here. And as you guys can see, you can kind of see him kind of leaning forward already. And you've got the trapezius muscle showing. You got the chest going over here. Okay. From here, imagine another line going like this, stopping right there. And then you go narrow. It's almost like two lines going down and you go narrow like this. Okay, how about that far? Good. Now let's go on this side and we're going to draw the bicep is going to be right here and it's going to be like this. Okay, see a little bit of the tricep muscle there. It looks tiny, but don't worry about it. It's supposed to be that he's leaning forward and then this is his arms are kind of further, further back. So, so they are smaller than they should be. Okay. Same thing here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this arm come out more so than this one, this one kind of points down more as opposed to this. So the angle is going to kind of look like this. Okay. So let's continue working on our bicep on this side and a little bit of the tricep showing. There you go. And the forearm, we're going to start right here. You go wide and then narrow. Right up to here. So that's, that's how you do it. Just get a nice shape going. There you go. And same thing here now. Wide. And then narrow. Okay. Right there. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Good. Just reshaping this a little bit because we are going to kind of draw where the legs start spreading out a little bit. Now we're, we won't draw past that. So we're just going to drop to here and let me zoom in now. Okay. Now, for the palms, what I'm going to do is oval shape first. Okay, this continues like this. And this right here, I'm going to start here, curve and then line going out. And then like that. So oval, line, curve, straight line, and curve back in like this. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Start with an oval here. That of course is going to be like the fatty part of the thumb here. Okay. Curve here, line going out, line going out here, and then a curve like this. Yeah. Now let's kind of get an idea for where we want to draw the fingers. But first I'm going to draw the sharp thumb and it's going to look like that. It's like a, this curved tooth like shape. And I'm going to bring that like this. Okay. And then now I'm going to kind of draw where I want those fingers to, to go. So I want it to be like this curve here. That's a longer at this part and it's closer over here. Okay. So this is close. This is longer and that's intentional. Now I'm going to draw each individual finger. I'm going to divide this first so that we know. And I want each finger to kind of go out, curve like this. Okay, and then this one goes out and then it curves this way. So for the most part, this is like more straight 
and this one is more curved. And then same thing here. So notice that my fingers are pretty spread apart. And this one kind of curves more now. And then this one curves like this. Okay, there's the basic shape for our finger fingers. Let me reshape this a little bit. There you go. Looks a little funny now, but we'll, we'll fix it up a little bit later. Okay, now let's go with this other hand. Let me bring this up slightly. There. Okay, again, I'm going to start with this right here, which is the sharp thumb. And then bring that finger this way. Okay, and then start here. And then work your way out like this. to divide this now. There you go. Curve goes down this. And as I do it, I want to make sure I have a pretty wide gap between fingers, right? I'm going to make this one go a little bit longer. It really doesn't matter because the size of the symbiote's hands are uh, they're different. They're malleable. So you can have big ginormous hands or you can have tiny normal size hands, not tiny hands, but normal size hands, and that's fine. Okay, and this goes like this. And then here, I'm going to have it curved this way. There you go. And that is pretty much it. Well, not pretty much it. That is how we are going to draw the basic shape for riot. Okay, and now I'm going to erase this here, erase this. And then so you've got this definite shape for the chest right there. You've got the shoulders going like this. I'm going to exaggerate these shoulder muscles a little bit more so that they're bigger. And then let's go ahead and uh, grab a new pencil with a sharper tip and let's start drawing in the details, you guys. And I'm going to zoom in on the face. We're going to draw the face first, and I'm going to explain how Riot's face is a little different than Venom's. Uh, they share a lot of the same look, similarities in, in, you know, the eye shape and everything. But there is a subtle, uh, subtle differences in the way that uh, they appear. Okay, so I'm going to first erase the circle inside. Although that circle would actually be helpful. So let me bring that back slightly. And the bottom of the circle here is where I want the top of the mouth to go. So I'm going to draw that line first. Okay. And then right here where this circle is, where the circle is here, I'm going to draw that. That's going to be the corner of the mouth. And then same thing over here, just before the edge. I'm going to draw that as the corner of the mouth right here. Okay, and then the mouth shape is going to be slightly different. Now it's going to kind of look like um, a snout that juts forward, like a dinosaur shape, like a velociraptor's mouth. So it kind of goes forward. Now Venom's face is kind of flat. So if I were to draw Venom right here, if I were to draw the side of his face, it kind of looks like this, right? That is Venom zooming out. There you go. So that's kind of what Venom looks like right here. Now Riot's face is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to draw it right here. Riot's face kind of comes out forward like this more and then like that. More like a dinosaur. So you guys see how it's flatter here on Venom's face and then Riot's face kind of comes out more. That's sort of the difference here. So that's kind of a tricky thing to draw or to show you how to draw here. That's why um, I got this right here. That's sort of like the narrow part of the snout that sticks out. Okay. And then I'm going to go down here. This is going to be the bottom. So bring this down and then the U shape here and then bring this back up like this. Okay. There you go. Now I'm going to bring this make it stick out a little bit more this way and then goes in. OK, 
the same thing here. You got a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a cheekbone. And then it goes in. And then right here, right in the middle, there's a clear, definite split that goes down. Looks like that, okay? And then this split, now imagine it kind of going down towards the center here. I'm gonna draw that. And then this right here is going to be like this wide, wide jaw, okay? Again, if I zoom out, the jaw is gonna be pretty wide right here. So we're gonna show that here. Okay, the chin relatively is pretty narrow in comparison. So there you go, there's Riot's face. I'm gonna erase some of these marks, make it easier for you guys to see. Okay, good, now let's draw the eyes from here I'm gonna draw eyes going across like this. And then the eyes are a little bit slanted. I'm gonna start here and here. And I'm going to bring it this way and then up along the side like that. Okay, and then like this. And then it goes this way and then it goes up that way. Okay, now this is just the guideline for the eyes. The eyes are actually the edges are going to be very random, a lot more random than Venom's eyes. Venom's eyes are pretty def definite, and then you see like zigzaggies right here, like this, whereas um, Riot's eyes are a little bit more slanted, and you've got like crazier, less definite shape like this right there. So that's kind of what we're going to try to go for, for Riot here. So we're gonna draw the eye first, how we want it to look, and, and he does have like this right in between line like this. And then think of this as like looking like a brain. It's like a, from here, there's, you've got some veins coming out and like wrinkle lines coming out from there towards, towards the eyes. Okay, now let's uh, draw the eyes with a little bit more like rougher edges here. Okay, and then over here. So I'm just creating these zigzag lines that work their way up to the top. Okay, there you go. And then for the mouth, I'm gonna draw this line right there and then a line right here. Let me show you. It looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna bring this a little bit higher up and then like that. So now this sort of creates like this a snout. It almost looks like a snake, right? And it does look like, like he does have like these nose, on the image anyway, it looks like he's got like these nose parts right here. You could probably erase it, but uh, on the image, it does look like, like the reference photo that I'm using. Now I don't have a high res photo of Riot because the DVD or the Blu-ray hasn't come out yet. So we can't, I'm just getting this still from the trailer still. Okay, there you go. Now let's draw the teeth. Well, actually first I'm gonna draw like the connective tissue here and here. So now he's sort of looking more like a snake. Draw a line going down here and here, like a lip. There you go, it looks like a snake with some pretty sharp teeth. And then the teeth go this way. You wanna make sure there's a gap and then the teeth are here. And they go like that. That looks a little funny. I'm gonna grab myself another pencil, make sure it's sharp, and then I'm just gonna draw the teeth. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the nose, the nose part here. Um, I might not, just, we'll see. Cause it's, it's really blurry. 
low resolution image. So you got this teeth there, and then here's some teeth from the bottom. You draw these in the front like this, but as soon as you get to the sides here, they start overlapping each other. Like that. Okay, so now the inside, I'm going to draw a little triangle like this to show like the, the tongue. But for the most part, shade that in. And yeah, that's uh, the right face. And it looks from the front, like I, I have to be honest, it is a bit of a challenge to draw Riot from the front just because his face looks different and you're kind of having to draw him uh, pointing outward like this. I think it would have been easier if we draw uh, him on the side here, but I thought this would be a good challenge and it was a pretty good pose, so I chose this pose. Okay, now let's draw the, uh, the muscles and then the muscles are like, you see a lot of like the the fibers of the muscles. So what I'm drawing is I'm going to draw the edge of the muscle here and then the edge of the muscle on this side and then I just connect them like this. Okay. Like that. So that's sort of creates like this um, <clears throat> muscle bound, like super muscular creature. He's been lifting weights and he's really cut. Okay. And then same thing here, just lines going from here draw some muscle fibers. Doesn't even matter if it's accurate, really. From here to there. Okay, neck lines. Here are lines from the neck. So here you go, just lines from the neck kind of going towards the chest here. And then you draw the chest line. Let's do, let's do the chest next. Okay, I'm going to start right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like the fibers of the muscle from the chest going towards the armpit here and then here this goes like that. So this whole thing is going to be the chest muscle. No nipples or anything. It doesn't have any. Again, like it's it's supposed to be an alien taking on a human form. So it's not going to be completely anatomically correct. Okay, armpit up like this. Same thing on this side. So let's do the same thing from here to the armpits. Just rough lines going across and then as we do that we are creating the chest shape. There you go. That wasn't too hard. Now let's draw the shoulder. And I'm going to draw the shoulder from here and think of it like pumpkin, which is fitting because it was just Halloween. Okay, it goes like this towards this point right here. You notice that my lines don't connect. A lot of it, like I draw a line, but I don't continue it. I just leave it like that. All right? So there's our shoulder muscle there looking really crazy ripped. And then same thing here. Start at this point and then just at this point I'm just kind of sensing it, just feeling for what looks right or for what, what feels right, what looks good, not necessarily what's anatomically right. Zooming out, let's draw the biceps and the triceps here. And the biceps are bi means two. So two muscles of the biceps, you got that there. Don't make it too prominent, you still want it to look like one main group, just split down the middle. Tricep showing on both sides. Okay, same thing here, from here, kind of split it. There you have it. And then the triceps on this side, as well as this side right here. OK, 
Okay. Zooming out some. Let's draw the, I guess you could say abdominal muscles and here in the back. The back is just going to be like, not smooth, kind of rough like that. And then the abdominal muscles, we're, we're just gonna sort of cut corners here, not draw real abs. I'm gonna draw this part here. And then I'm gonna draw like that. So it's going to be Think of it as like the symbiote sort of engulfing the front. Okay, so first I drew this part right here. This here. And then from here I just draw there and then I draw a line down the middle. Okay, from here, just going down, drawing a line down here. And then I'm just going to draw lines like this. Okay. And then from here, it just goes down some more. They don't even have to be completely um, symmetrical to each other. Okay, right here. I'm just... There you go. goes down towards the legs and then I'm gonna draw this but I won't I'm gonna cut it off right here like I said I'm not going to draw the crotch or anything I'm just going to keep it PG and I'm just going to leave it right here so you guys notice that I've sort of started my line here and then I created like this triangle shape to create the abdominal muscles which I mean they're not really like this in real life, but it, it creates a, an illusion of abs and it kind of looks pretty cool. So I'm keeping it that way. Okay, and then on the side here, I'm just creating these flowy lines that go outward. Okay, and then I won't draw much of the legs, but I do just want to kind of add some details here. Like that. Okay. That is pretty good, I think. I'm content with that. Now let's focus on the forearms. Now the forearms is going to be kind of start in the middle here and then create like these sinewy type muscles here. And then they kind of go outward to the side. So some lines going out like that. So it sort of creates like this weird look. And I'm going to draw some fibers going this way there you go and then for the most part we're just going to figure out for each individual finger we're gonna figure out where the these are the knuckles where they bend at this part right here Right here, we're going to keep it this way, essentially. Maybe a little, a little line there. So here we've got like that, that part. Let's draw this line on this side and then a line going across. Okay. Now let's divide this finger. And this finger is going to start with this part, the top part like this, and then second and then third. So it's three segments. This is the first one, second one, and a third. And we're just going to do that for each one. And right here, I just create like a tiny little bump to show that there is a bit of a bone there.
There you go. And then again, you can kind of create those sinewy muscles. Add those details in. You know, give them give them a very muscly, fibery look. And then on the other side, let's do the same thing. Grabbing myself a new pencil here. So I'm gonna draw a line going down from here to here, kind of like that. And then you got fibers that sort of come out from here, from the wrist going into the forearm. Okay. Fibers going on this side. There. And then we do the same thing with the fingers now. Find that, this right here, and then the thumb. And then this right here, and this right here. Okay. And then each individual finger. It's gonna be three segments. that and so just continue on until you reach the end add some details to it and you're good to go so there is riot but even this is not completely completely done either uh, we've only done one layer let me erase this part let's add some red veins for venom he's black with some white veins for Riot, he's sort of red with, or he's he's gray with some red veins. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be very faint with it. And I'm going to start here. I'm just going to draw like this zigzag line that goes from here outward. And I, I imagine it as like being like tree roots. Now you can go into a lot of detail or as little detail as you want with this. But for each line, you can make them smaller. And you notice that I'm I'm doubling up on them. I'm drawing two lines. So to, to create like that flow. Like that. So I, I won't draw too much of it. I'm only going to draw them where they sort of would look prominent. So on the shoulder, like on the top here. Over here, draw another one. And at this point, like you guys, I'm not even looking at the reference photo. I'm just kind of getting a feel for where I want those veins to go. Okay, from the center here, kind of going out. Okay, and then if you draw a line, then draw some more little lines coming out of the main line. And then right here. Okay, and then more on this shoulder. Bicep. And then I'll just do just a few here and then I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to make it any more or make any more. If you guys want to add more, feel free to do so. Like make him all veiny and roided up. Add some here if you guys want to. It's all completely up to you because again, the symbiote, the symbiote is very fluid in appearance. So sometimes he'll have those veins, but they're not set, you know, like he can change it. He's a shapeshifter. Okay, there you go. I'm going to add some lines from the eyes, kind of going upwards to the head. OK, 
and then some lines underneath the eyes as well. Just some faint lines here. I'm going outward like this. Sort of, oh my goodness, I apologize for that. There you go. So I'm creating these veins that go from the eye up to the head here. And then, and then from the eye going, kind of going down. And as I do that, you see that it's sort of creating like this shape right there. So it creates this illusion of curve right here and here. So do that at your discretion, you guys. And then finally, I'm going to add some tendrils, much like Carnage's tendrils. That's going to just very small, very faint. Just have him sort of the tendrils come out from his side and his back. And I'm gonna draw from from chest to hand, chest to arm like this, and have him just sort of come out. Again, I'm being very random with my tendrils sticking out here. Nothing too. Here we go. And then at the same time, I'm going to have like little tendrils coming out of those 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 tendrils as well. So I'm not going to make them as elaborate as I did the Carnage tutorial. Although if you guys want to do that, that's fine as well. But there you go. I'm going to create like a little bit of fluid movement like that as well. So, you know, there you go. So that's, that's it. You guys, that is a riot. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a bit of a challenge, although it is, I have to admit, this was a, a fun, a fun one to draw because of all the details. But anyway, thank you so much for watching you guys, and I will catch you in my next drawing tutorial. Take care. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you, number one, like this video, video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description, so always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one, and until then, Stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.